Jo, 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 jo. Yo, the topic, the topic of this video is going to be about moving away, moving away from, moving away from our nature. That's going to be the topic of this video, man. The topic of this video is going to be about moving away from nature. The topic topic of this video is going to be about moving away from nature. Sorry if I'm being a little bit too quiet. Sorry if I'm being a little bit too quiet. I just have to kind of like calm myself down a little bit. I always feel like someone's going to fucking come at me, man. Anyway, though. The topic of this video, guys, is going to be about moving away from nature. As I look around me, I look at the, the, the greenery and all that type of stuff, the trees, I always like filming videos outside next to trees and look at the same old environments with the hills and all that. I'm still on the, the hill-like environment right now. But the topic of this video, guys, is going to be about moving away from nature. Moving away from nature. I really wanted to make videos more about um, nature and being natural and all that type of stuff. You might not think it's very important. And I did make a couple of videos before and I said that nature... Oh, shoot, man. Nature isn't really that um, nice. It's not. It's not something that you should be like. Kind of. You shouldn't really be thinking too fondly of nature because you know Mother Nature can be quite. Mother Nature can be quite a, a bitch. You know, because if you look at like um the wild parts of Africa and all that. If you look at Africa, the wild side of Africa. It's got you got like um, you got like, all these lions and creatures that want to rip you up and stuff. And there's like all the disease issues and stuff and bugs and insects that go into your skin and it's very nasty. Tapeworms and all that and, and ticks and fleas and all that type of stuff, man. It's horrible. So nature isn't, because I did make, a, I remember a, a, quite a while ago now, I made a, a video about like, um, I made a video about like fucking, about um, your nature and all that type of stuff, about nature, and I said that mother nature is kind of like a bitch, and she shouldn't really, you shouldn't really be um, too fond of like nature and trying to be natural, because the natural world, if you look at like um, Africa and like a lot of the other parts of our planet that don't really have much of a civilization going, they're very, um, very um, kind of, it's like, almost like it's very um, terrifying to look at that seeing all the dead carcasses of animals that have been hunted by predators and stuff. It's like quite um, a vicious um, existence, quite terrifying. Because like, I know certain people, they almost kind of glorify nature and being natural. That is like something that should be strived towards. People should be striving towards being natural. In my opinion, that's kind of like very dumb, man. It's very stupid because if you look at... um, Can you, if you look at... Uh, sorry, guys, I just have to make sure no one's going to try and knock my head up. Sorry, I'll have to try and be very, very careful, guys. Let's keep twisting and turning. Maybe this is like a better position. If you look at, uh, maybe oh, this is the light going on my face. If you look at like a lot of like um, Africa, like a lot, a lot of the um, places on our planet that don't really have much of a civilization going, they're very rough places. They're very difficult to look at. Because it's kind of, I always see it, it's kind of find it a little bit funny that certain people on YouTube, they always make it seem like um, be, you have to become, being natural, that is so important. Being close to nature is so important. I mean, obviously, look at me. I always like making videos outside, but still, nature and that, being natural, that can, it's, quite, it's kind of a little bit absurd. If you think about what, is, what does it mean to actually be natural? What does it actually mean to be, be natural and all that type of stuff? Does it mean that you have to be butt naked and live in, a, in mud huts in Africa? Because that's what that, that's what our ancestors were doing. So if, if you want to if you want to follow the way of your ancestors, you have to become a, a fucking primitive retard. You can't wear any clothes. You have to go to Africa and you have to live in a hut for the rest of your life. Do you want to be natural? Do you, do you really care about nature now? No, you don't. Most of us, we would not want to live in such a horrendous way. That's why I'm not really too keen on like natural, being natural and trying to kiss mother nature's ass. Because if you think about being natural, like, well, what's that mean, be natural? But typically, people say it's just like, do what your ancestors did. But our ancestors are very primitive and they lived in fucking huts. They lived in fucking huts. You get me? Huts. Mud huts in fucking Africa and stuff. And they weren't even moving. They had no civilization going and all that type of stuff, man. You really do you think that being natural is that fucking important then guys? I don't think so. I think it's kind of like I think our modern society and technology and, and all that stuff and innovation and all the culture and stuff that we made for ourselves I think that's so much more important guys than be trying to become natural 
being more close to nature. What's that actually mean? People typically would say that it's just you have to do what your ancient ancestors were doing, live in the fucking wild, live in like a mud hut with like a fucking with no clothes on, be super fucking primitive. And there you go, guys. You're fucking natural and you're doing things the right way. It's fucking stupid, man. That is, I don't. Some people might say that is like the way to live. I don't think so, guys. I think that's such a feeble existence. I think trying to be natural is so asinine and stupid. In that sense that you have to be as close to your ancestors and how they were doing things. That's so dumb and asinine. Your ancestors were so fucking primitive and stupid. You really want to emulate them. You want to go to Africa and live in a hut for the rest of your life. No, fuck off. Fuck off. But anyway, but moving away from nature, I really want to just now talk about the consequences, right, of guys, of like kind of moving away from like the natural world, becoming less natural. Because as, as we, especially as modern human beings, as we start to develop into our modern day societies, civilization, etc., we start to like become... <sighs> Fucking wasp, man. Always a fucking issue when you go outside, man. It's gonna be like flies and all these like little curves that want to chew through your flesh, man. But anyway, moving on from that, being natural, like moving. The topic of this video is moving away from nature. I really wanted to discuss some of the consequences of like moving away from nature, because it does seem like after every like every couple thousand, like every hundred years, we're becoming less and less. We're moving more and more away from nature. Things are becoming. You're gonna be, you're seeing like less and less greenery and trees and all that, and you're seeing more and more cities and all that and stuff. Is that a big deal? Is that a big problem? I don't think so, guys. Honestly, I do think that it's kind of like a blessing in disguise. Uh -huh. We're becoming fucking less, less natural. Some people think that you have to be, like, it's kind of like a tragedy that we're becoming less natural. We're, being, we're moving away from Mother Nature. But guys, really, Mother Nature is quite ruthless. Mother Nature is a bitch. I actually made a video about that quite a while ago, man. That Mother Nature is actually a bitch. And you, sh you shouldn't be too fond of trying to become natural. What the fuck does that even mean? Being natural, natural. It's all, you have to be natural, that's so important. I never understood that concept, man. And, because if you look at fucking, I swear, if you look at, um, fucking, if you, again, look at Africa, look at places where there's no civilization, it's not just Africa, if you look at, like, you know, like, I'm um, in, um, in Australia, there's, like, the Aborigines, if you look at what they do, if they're, what they're up to, it's not very pretty, guys, if you look at all these places where there's not, not really a civilization going on, these types of places, they're not too pretty, guys, they're quite, quite disgusting, man. They're very disgusting, man. These places that don't really have much of a civilization going, they're very, very like, hard to look at. And so it kind of it be it bewilders me, man, that certain people, they make it seem like you have to become more natural, you have to become closer to nature. It's so asinine and stupid to me, guys. Because look at Africa, look at all these places where there's not much of a civilization going on. It's quite a fucking sh shitty environment to be in. A lot of the world without, like, if there were places that don't really have much of a civilization going, they're pretty, sh pretty much shitholes. But anyway, moving away from nature, what are the consequences? Because I've been mumbling on. I've been blabbering on and all that type of stuff. I've been blabbering on and all that. I think one of the biggest... Well, I think one of the biggest consequences... I think one of the biggest consequences... I think one of the biggest consequences, guys, is that we're becoming less healthy and all that type of stuff. We're becoming less healthy, I do think so. Moving away from nature. We're becoming, like, less healthy and all that type of stuff. I honestly do think so. Becoming less healthy. Becoming a lot less healthy, I do think so, certainly. Moving away from nature, I do think that it's causing us to like lose our health. I think it actually is like causing us to become less healthy, I do think so, man. 100% I would agree, I think most people would agree. That if you like, that we're becoming less healthy as a species, after, we're be after like our time, we're becoming less, less, and less healthy, guys. We're becoming less healthy, guys. A hundred percent do agree. I, I would uh, certainly. Some scientists would also agree. Would like to agree with this, right? That we are actually becoming less healthy as a result, as a consequence of like civilization. That we're becoming, we're losing our health and our vitality. We're becoming more prone to diseases and all of these physical health problems because we're fucking in we're, we're, we're not like really exposed to like any sort of natural selection anymore guys because 
if you are in the wild, you pretty much only the strongest survive, more or less. If you're like a weak, if you have like all these like health problems, you pretty much would just get picked off very instantly, very quickly. You would get picked off by our mother nature and, and all the wild predators and the animals and the creatures that are there outside of our civilization. You'd be p picked off so quickly. So moving away from nature, what are some of the consequences? I do think it's that we're becoming less healthy as an animal species, as human beings, we're becoming more and more corrupted. Our genetics are becoming more corrupted. I do think so, man. I think our genetics are just becoming a lot more corrupted and all that type of stuff. I think we're becoming overall just less healthy or less, we're losing our vitality, our health. We're becoming like, literally like our genes are just becoming more corrupted. More people are developing health problems, physical health issues like um, autism, Asperger's, Down syndrome. There's all these, multi there's like a multitude of like different sorts of like physical health problems and all that type of stuff. We're just overall becoming less healthy, less fit. We're becoming more prone to diseases and all these like physiological issues that are going on with our bodies. The reason why is because we're fucking, when, you, when, you're in a, when you're in a society, natural selection really can do its thing, right? Because... When, if you exist like in a society, like even if you if you have like physical health problems, you're just going to be looked after by the people that are in that society, right? You're not going to be. There's no lions in a society running around trying to kill you. Right? That's kind of the biggest issue. That's one of the biggest conundrums with like a civilization, a society. It pretty much it's a given that after every generation, your 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 people are just going to get weaker and weaker because they're, you're, unless you're, you, you live in like some type of society where there's like gladiator pits and like there's like some type of um, right, uh, rites of passages like you know like the Romans they were like and the Spartans the ancient Greeks they were like they had like these like very masculine like they were a very they, they had like these very masculine cultures where you have to like f prove your worth and fight in like gladiatorial pits and arenas and etc but still it's quite we, it, like most societies are not like very warrior they don't have like a strong warrior culture or like the mongols the mongolians they were like very tough and they had to prove themselves by going into battle and etc most most societies are not like especially modern societies are very much softer now pretty much there's no really there's not much room for warfare or, or any of that stuff in warfare and combat and sports or any of thing maybe perhaps in some like maybe mma and all that but that's kind of like a less it's not that not to it's not like it's not that severe like people don't die when they go into get into mma fights you get me Definitely, we, 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 like, there's no, like, natural selection's not really doing its thing anymore, you get me, man? If you think about it, if you think about it, before, I, before we start to get into, like, civilizations and societies and all that type of stuff, natural selection was doing its thing. If you had, like, any sort of physical health problems in the wild, you just get picked off so quickly and easily. Honestly, I do think that's why... Well, moving away from nature, some of the one of the consequences would have to be the fact that we're becoming just less healthy as an animal species and stuff like that. I think that we're just becoming less, less, less healthy and all that. Honestly, honestly, I think that's like one of the worst consequences of like moving away from nature and stuff. Is that we're becoming like quite a lot. We're becoming less healthy. We're, we're becoming more prone to like physical health problems and disease and all that type of stuff. We're becoming like less healthy guys, that's like so fucked up. It's so fucked up man. Losing like um, health and vitality and all that. I do think it's because... It, it is because of the fact... That once you like... If you, if you move away... If you want that, moving away from nature, one of the consequences is that it just you become less healthy as an animal species. I do think so. Look at like um, compare our like modern day domestic dog breeds to like the wolves in the wild. Our modern day domestic dog breeds are pretty much they have they're riddled with like all these health problems. If you look at like a lot of our modern day dog breeds, what do you have like you have chihuahuas and you have like fucking golden retrievers. All of these different dog breeds that we have now. The pretty much like if you look at like the, the prehistoric ancestors of all of these domestic dog breeds they were very very close to looking like wolves right if you look at wolves in the wild they're very tough they're very capable of survival and all that type of stuff they don't have much health problems at all because they still operate under um, natural selection and all that type of stuff the the, the 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 members of their like of that type of species of their species the, the ones that have like weaker physical like bodies and all that the ones that have like physical health problems they pretty much get fucking ripped to shreds and they die in the wild only the strongest survive and that's why yeah, if you really compare domestic, a lot of different types of domestic dog breeds, if you compare them to like a lot of these like wolves in the wild, you you notice quickly that the fact that like the wolves are so much more, um, they're so much more healthy or more capable of surviving in the wild compared to like our modern domestic dog breeds. Our dog breeds, the, 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 the domestic dog breeds that we now have and own, 
they are they're very prone to all these like diseases and problems with their bodies and health they're not very capable at all of surviving in the wild that's quite, that's quite interesting if you carefully it's like an interesting thing if you look at like the wolves in the wild wolves in the wild they're very much very soul capable of survival and all that type of stuff they don't rely on humans at all they don't really suffer from much health problems the ones that do typically just die off early and stuff it creates like a natural selection type thing where only the strongest survive that's why I think moving away from nature one of the, the consequences is that we're just going to become less and less healthy I think as the generations go on that us human beings we're going to become less and less like capable less and less healthy we're going to Asperger's autism down syndrome all these like sorts of health problems and like physiological issues with our bodies and our minds and our brains all of that stuff is going to get more pronounced as time goes on as we start to step more and more away from nature and moving away from nature because once you start like typically we assume us human beings we don't like to like um, we don't want ourselves to suffer we don't want to be under the influence of like mother nature and like natural selection it's not uh, you know it's like my human rights my human rights and all that type of stuff we don't really we a lot of us we would not prefer to be under like natural like if you knew that if you were in the wild you were gonna die that's like a given you would not like be so like you wouldn't be like so like so like giddy about being like all natural and all that type of stuff you wouldn't be all giddy about it natural selection most most of us human beings we do not want to like suffer from any type of mortality issues and all that type of stuff we want to be like very much fit healthy and all that we don't want to, i'm not fit and healthy we, we a lot of us we pretty much we a lot of us were very keen on staying alive that's kind of the, the and so if we if we get into the wild if we were to get into the wild and stuff into the wild right and, and it was like a given that some of us are going to die a lot of us we would not even agree to that that's why you know like moving away from nature the biggest consequences that us human beings I honestly i do predict this as well like as each as like, as like time keeps moving on and on and ge generations keep passing by i think we're just gonna become less and less healthy less and less capable man honestly i do believe that honestly i do believe that as like the generations keep moving by as time keeps going on and on and moving by we're just gonna become less and less capable as, as an animal species we're not going to be as like we're not going to be able to survive much at all in the wild we're, we're typically we're just going to be suffering from more and more health problems autism down syndrome asperger's you name it we're going to have all of these like types of just like, as a consequence of like moving away from nature we're going to be like more prone to like all of these like physical health problems and issues with our bodies and our minds and all that type of stuff our brain everything's about us we're just going to become less capable as an animal species as an animal species, as human beings, we're just gonna look at that memento as well, man. Fucking hell, did you see that? We're just gonna fucking get turned into like fucking. We're just gonna lose our vitality, honestly, do you believe so, guys? Fucking natural environment. Moving away from nature. There, there, obviously, I don't think that nature is like very pretty, because you don't wanna like. I mean, it is kind of a little bit absurd be trying to be natural. What's that I mean? Living in like a hut for, you, for the rest of your life in Africa. Being super primitive, does that want natural? It's probably not. Being natural isn't like, I don't see it as being like the end or be all of every, everything that we must be natural. It's quite asinine to me if you think that way. Because really, do you want to live in a hut for the rest of your life in like some place in like Africa? Probably not. Anyway, moving away from nature, I've been kind of mumbling on and on about the sort of the same points, but one of the biggest problems I do think so is the fact that we're just going to become less healthy as an animal species. Because we're not, I don't think that we're, we're operating under natural selection anymore. And what's going to happen is that we're just like people with like autism, Down syndrome, Asperger's and all that stuff. They're going to become super common guys in the future. Honestly, one of the predictions I have for the future is that people that have like autism, Asperger's, Down syndrome, they're just going to be so much more common in the future compared to now because of the fact that natural selection is not doing its thing. Because in the wild, I do think, I, I, maybe it's like, a, I think, you know, like the Pareto principle, 80-20 rule or something like that, the 20%, the 80, I think that applies to, like, in the wild, like, I think 80% of us would have just been wiped out by, like, all these different sorts of, like, natural, like, natural causes, like, natural selection and all that, like, disease, predators, a lot of us, we would have just been picked off and only the 20%, the, the most, like, the people that have, like, very superb genetics, they would have, like, stayed to survive and pass on their genetics. It would have been, like, a nice... That's how natural selection sort of operates. The best people with the best genes, they, they, they get to stay alive. And the, 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 the people that have, like, all these, like, health problems, man, they have, like, these, like, shitty health problems, man. I think that's what it's all about. The people that have, like, all these, um, health problems, they fucking, um... 
they pretty much fucking get um, killed and all by natural flesh and all that type of stuff. I think that's a little bit about what it's about. I think that's a little bit about what natural selection is about. The, the twenty percent stay alive. The people that have like the best genetics or whatever, the people with the best genes, they pretty much stay alive. And then the people that have like they're too unfit, they have all these physical health problems like Asperger's, autism, Down syndrome, whatever you want to call it. These types of people, they just simply pass away. They get picked off by predators. They get they die because of like different types of natural causes. Like maybe they might just get like they they might not be able to like properly manage their resources, and so they starve to death or they die of thirst or hunger or something similar. Moving away from nature, just one of the biggest consequences I do think is that us human beings, and as an animal species, we're probably going to become less and less um, healthy. I do think so, unless there's like some type of um. The only caveat would be that if there's like some type of um, some type of like eugenics program or anything like that. Unless there's like some type of eugenics program, man. Unless there's like some type of um eugenics program. Or something going on like that, I don't know. That would be like the only way. That would be the only way that we wouldn't get, like, just continually degrade away. If there was like some type of. If there was, if there would be like some type of. That would be the only way to kind of solve this conundrum. Fuck it, oh man. That would be like the only some like one of the only ways to solve this type of conundrum. If there would be like some type of eugenics program or anything like that being enacted to kind of maintain like some of like the the the, the, the um the the, the the rules of like natural selection like certain people with the best genes they get to pass on and if your genetics are shit you pretty much just have to die off. The only way to maintain this in a society would be through like some type of like eugenics program. That's like a big fat conundrum, man. But I don't think anybody, I don't think most people would even want to agree with that. Would would agree to a eugenics program? That'd be almost like kind of absurd. So I don't know, it's kind of like, I do think that's probably just, an, it's probably going to be like a fucking, um, it's just going to be inevitable. Uh, pretty much uh, like moving away from nature, one of the biggest consequences is that we're just going to become less, less um, healthy as an animal species. Us human beings are just going to become like a, a lot less um, capable of survival in the wild. We're going to become a lot less capable as an animal species in the wild. We're just going to... One of the predictions I have for the future is that you're gonna, like, you know, people with um, autism, Down syndrome, Asperger's. You're gonna see a lot more of them in the future because natural selection's not doing its thing. And people, that, the people like the, the Pareto principle, the best people with the best genes, they're not, like, they're, they're not the only ones reproducing. They're, you have all these other people that have like sort of like subpar genetics. People that have like, autism, Down syndrome. Even though it sounds like very um quite um like um. It sounds like I'm being quite um kind of heartless. I don't. That, that, that's kind of the issue with, um, with with a lot of my videos. I have to be a little bit heartless because the truth is like very hard to look at sometimes. But people that have like subpar genetics, they they're because there there is no real natural selection anymore in our society, especially modern Western societies. There's not really any real natural selection going on. I think that that's as a result, we're just all gonna like our as human beings as an animal species. Our genetics are gonna turn to shit. Quite literally, I think that we're gonna just become less and less capable as each generation passes on. We're gonna have like Asperger's autism, that's gonna be way more common, guys, in the future. Guys or gals, or you, I'm talking to you as a person, actually, you as an individual. In the future, man, we're gonna, our, our genetics are gonna become way worse, guys. Way, way worse. Or you, I don't, I, I always wanna make sure I'm like dedicating my videos to a specific person. I don't like talking to like. Hopefully my video, like, you're, it's you as a person, I'm talking to you as a person, right, anyway. I think one of the predictions I have for the future is that our genes are just going to turn to shit, man. I think people with autism, Down syndrome, all that type of stuff, they're going to become way more common. It's people with schizophrenia, we're going to have, like, people that are, like, people that have, like, all these sorts of, like, genetic health problems, they're going to be way more common in the future. Why is that? Because, you know, as a result of, like, us moving away from nature, as, as a consequence of, like, moving away from nature, as a, as a result of, like, living in, like, a modern society, modern westernized societies, where human rights are very much important and, you, and eugenics is very controversial, our genetics, you're going to see people more with, like, be, in the future, you're going to see people that have, that have more, that are more, that have, like, autism, Down syndrome, Asperger's, and all that type of stuff. Anyway, but that's one of, like, as a, so I'm, I'm kind of repeating myself, but one of the biggest consequences of moving away from nature, I do think so, is that as, us human beings, as an animal species, 
we're going to become so much more like corrupted we're going to be suffering from so many different types of genetic health problems unless unless of course some type of eugenics gets like enacted even though i don't think that's gonna i don't think that's very likely i think because now human rights is like, very much important i don't think the most of us would ever agree to a eugenics program i think that would be kind of like almost a bit too absurd especially from like a western like Especially if you're from like Western Europe or America, like like eugenics, it's like not even nobody's even going to want to start a conversation about eugenics. It's like because human rights are very much important and all that type of stuff. So that, so I don't. So honestly, I do think that as in as a consequence of this, honestly, I think 100. I think in the future there's going to be more people with autism, Down syndrome, Aspergers, all that type of stuff. People that have more that these people that have subpar genetics, they're going to manage to stay alive and pass on their genes and, and there's not going to be much natural selection going on and there's simply our us as human beings as an animal species as a consequence of moving away from nature we're just going to fucking turn our genes are just going to go down the toilet and we're just going to turn to shit we're going to be fucking more like physically disabled more we're going to have more physical health problems in the future why because we're not operating according to the rules and laws of natural selection but anyway but i don't want to get too much into that so as a consequence one of the consequences will be moving away from nature is that we're going to become quite as, as an animal species we're going to become less healthy period okay that's one of the consequences what's some of the other consequences obviously as a result by moving away from nature but what's that even mean moving away from nature less greenery more civil more like cities and you're going to see less actual real greenery and jungles and you're going to see more like concrete jungles like predator concrete jungle do you remember that game that's like a that, that game that's kind of reminds me of it but it's so true though that game like a lot of what gets mentioned in that game is so right you're, you're going to be seeing less greenery and you're going to be seeing more like concrete basically you see more skyscrapers is that really a bad thing actually i don't really like jungles at all. I, I hate being in like I, I mean maybe in like now most jungles look like shit man they're filled with bugs and insects i want to eat you maybe I, actually i'm not really too depressed by the fact that we're going to be seeing like more cities and skyscrapers i actually think that's a, a massive benefit guys have you ever seen an actual proper jungle it's all shit it's like bugs and insects and snakes and tigers i want to eat you man actual proper jungles they look kind of atrocious actually but i don't want to keep dwelling on about blabbering on about that actually concrete jungle that is like we're gonna you're gonna be seeing more concrete jungles not actually no no actual real jungles i think that's like very i think that's like gonna be a lot maybe for better or for worse that's just, that's, that's what's gonna happen one of the like moving away from um nature one of the other consequences that we're just gonna be seeing less greenery less wildlife i think certain animals are gonna just become extinct I think already certain animals are already becoming extinct. You know, like the dodo extinction that's going to happen. I think we're going to like you're going to see like an endless list of animal species just disappear off the face of the earth because us human beings we're be, we're moving away from nature and we're fucking we're we're fucking we're literally like fucking we're literally like building cities and skyscrapers and all that type of stuff over like wildlife environments and areas. I think as a consequence, I think what's going to happen is that we're just going to become less and less healthy. As we're going to become like less, not healthy, I'm not talking about like the other issues. Sorry, my brain gets a little bit twisted a bit. Moving away from nature, one of the other consequences is that you're going to see less wildlife and greenery. Also, what, what's going to happen is that you're going to see like an endless list, an endless list of like different types of animal species slowly start to become extinct. I think that's going to happen for sure. Now more and more and more and more different types of animal species in the future are going to become extinct. I 100% believe in that. I 100% believe in that, guys. Now, in the future, I think that a lot more of them, lot, there's going to be like more creatures, like more animals are going to become extinct. Certain animals, you can already tell right now that certain animals are actually already becoming extinct a little bit. A little bit. There's already like the, the, the dodo bird and all that type of stuff. Something similar similar to that, the dodo bird. And all that, there's like pandas are becoming less like common. There's like certain like animals are already slowly starting to become extinct and I, I think as a consequence right moving away from nature i think that's like another big issue that you're going to see like an endless list of different types of animal species just slowly start to like go the way of the dodo i think a lot of different types of animals species on our planet they're just going to go the way of the dodo and they're just going to become more extinct and all that type of stuff i think there's going to be like an endless list of like different types of animals on our planet that are just going to fucking go the way of, of the dodo so that's like another con consequence like so so far i talked about the fact that we're just gonna become less healthy as an animal species there's gonna be like less greenery and all that type of stuff and a lot of different animals are just gonna become extinct because a lot of wildlife is gonna get destroyed right as a consequence of like civilizations and urban centers being constructed and built over like wildlife areas i think so many different types of animals and creatures are gonna become extinct okay what else 
is that all there is or about like in terms of like our planet's resources our ecosystem and stuff like that the atmosphere i think pollution moving away from nature because typically when when i talk about moving away from nature what i'm talking about like us human beings us moving away from nature and us heading towards civilization and society that's what it kind of that's what this type of video is really about i think that as we become more as we march more towards like civilization and society i think pollution is going to become more extreme because you have to like all the all the, like these building processes building and construction work and all that type of stuff that produces like a lot of pollution and you know like trees and all that stuff, because there's gonna be less greenery because like more and more more and more urban centers are gonna be become constructed there's gonna be less greenery so there's gonna be more pollution and you know without trees to suck in all that pollution because you know that's also gonna be another shitty side side effect or consequence of like the fact that less greenery so like where's all that fucking pollution what's gonna who's gonna where's all what's, what's gonna solve that pollution problem because there's no more trees around us so all that pollution issues all the pollution problem is it's gonna become like kind of insane there's not gonna be any sort of like treatment for it it's just our atmosphere is just going to turn to shit. Everything's just going to turn to shit. Yeah, pollution. I honestly do think so. Moving away from nature. Another consequence is this, you're going to see more pollution. I 100% believe so. I wonder what our oceans are going to look like. Because I already, I, I know right now for sure that there's like quite a lot of shit going into the ocean and stuff like that. There's quite a lot of shit going into the ocean and all that type of stuff. So one of the consequences. There's like quite a lot of shit going into the ocean. There's like um bottles, plastic bottles. It's not just plastic. All sorts of shit goes into the ocean. I wonder actually what it's gonna look like in the future. Our ocean, man. It's probably gonna be all shitty. It's probably gonna be all. Like, you're gonna see tons and tons of like shit building up in the ocean floor, man. It's gonna be quite. Not gonna be very pretty. The future is not gonna look pretty at all. A hundred percent. I honestly I have like a very such a um nihilistic view of the future 100% because I think that the future is going to be so atrocious to look at it's going to be so like it's going to be filled and riddled with so many different issues it's not going to be a very pretty pretty to look at oh it's fucked up it's going to be very it's going to be such a fucked up place man I, I can't even like you can already feel like how even our society is degrading but our genetics are becoming corrupted all because we're we are like moving away from nature and we're marching towards civilization and even though I still flies man fucking hell Man, you know when you go out, when I'm making videos outside, it's such a massive pain in the ass, guys. All these critters and bugs and all that type of shit that want to chew my flesh up, man. I still make these videos for you guys. I still have to do it, though. For you, wh whoever you are as a person, hopefully these, my videos are helping you out. Whoever you are that's watching my videos, 100%, I hope that my videos are giving you a lot of good insights. And I'm actually helping you, like, change your life for the better. But anyway moving away from nature typically what i mean by this is that we're moving away from nature and we're marching towards civilization and society and technology and there's gonna be so many different fucked up issues about this guys because us human beings we're really built we're not built for um societies at all we used to have like a hunter gatherer body does that make sense guys we as human beings we are still we still have the same like same physiological characteristics of our hunter gatherer ancestors why, why do you think like I'm um, diabetes? What is diabetes? Diabetes is caused by like consuming all of this like unnatural, like un like all of the shitty super processed food because your ancestors weren't eating these types of foods, right? Us human beings, we're still built like we still have the same physiological characteristics of our hunter gatherer ancestors. There's not much of a difference. The other than like maybe perhaps our cognitive development has become a little bit more advanced but other than that like in terms of like the physical side of our bodies we are we still like we were very much still similar to our hunter gatherer ancestors it's quite so it's not so it's a no-brainer that we're gonna fucking isn't it like a no-brainer that you can see like we're gonna like modern society is probably not the best thing for us human beings because we still even though i do think that some of us actually maybe perhaps certain people like especially um east asians and Europeans have been more like accustomed to like civilization for a longer period of time compared to like Africans and Aborigines and all that type of stuff. Aboriginal groups, certain people like it's, it's kind of depends as well. There's so many like variables, but because you know, certain people like well, I talk about ancestors, but you might be a Chinese person, so your ancestors were building the Han Empire and the Great Wall of China, or you might be an African person, your ancestors were still like kind of like a little bit not as like far ahead as like maybe perhaps like the, the East Asian person, I don't know, or a European person, because maybe perhaps. There was like some like we, I think Africans, uh, they were still a little bit primitive compared to like East Asians a couple thousand years ago. Even but it's kind of actually I don't want to make any like um those types of judgments in this video. Any type of like I don't want to talk too much about like racial politics and all that. But still, ah, uh, it's fucking. We're still 
a lot of us, we still have hunter-gatherer bodies. We still have like the same physiological characteristics of our hunter-gatherer ancestors. But now we have like a modern society to run around in, guys. And even though our bodies are not built for it, really, that's why so many people have diabetes. As you eat like all this processed food, it's not really what your ancestors were doing, were they? Your ancestors were just chowing on like wild game and like whatever was like available on the land, like whatever. But anyway, but it's quiet. Moving away from nature, we're just going to become less, like one of the consequences is going to be that we're going to become less healthy as an animal species. Less greenery and wildlife because, you know, like urban centers are, are going to get constructed, skyscrapers are going to get built over like a lot of wildlife areas and and urban centers, etc. And what, another consequence is going to be the fact that more pollution is going to be occurring. You can already see that in the ocean. The ocean's just getting filled with shit. Another consequence, I do believe so, is going to be the fact that um, oh, I lost my train of thought. I was, I was talking about, yeah, that we're just, again, less healthy. Because I was talking about that we're still more or less very similar to our hunter-gatherer ancestors. Only, really, the only thing that's changed is our cognitive development to some extent, even though a lot of us are still very much brained. A lot, that's the only major change to us human beings is that our cognitive development has kind of like been pushed to the limit, even though a lot of us were still sort of brain dead, but anyway, moving away from nature, I'm, I'm just, I'm 100%, unless like some eugenics program's gonna get like constructed, or unless someone's gonna do something about this, unless someone's gonna like, like make the right preparations to like, prevent a massive like social cataclysm and downfall, I, I just, I don't see like the fact that our, our future is probably gonna look so shitty, I'm not even kidding around, everything's just gonna turn to shit, I 100% agree with this fact that like, uh, like everything in the future is just gonna be so much worse guys, you could see more people with Down syndrome, autism, Asperger's, everything about our, us human beings and stuff. It's just going to become more worse in the future. The future is not very pretty, guys. Hopefully, you can try your best to like prepare for it, but I think there's going to be some sort of like massive, like, you know, like the fall of the Roman Empire. Something similar is going to happen, man. I think everything about our society is just going to turn to shit. Everything is just going to fall to pieces collapse to the ground there's going to be a collapse happening i 100 percent believe so guys i think there's it's going to be coming in the future there's going to be like a massive cataclysm in the future guys everything's just going to be worse in the future i do believe so we're going to become less healthy people you're going to see more people with autism down syndrome why because you know natural selection that type of the rules of natural selection nobody really cares about that too much that's why because in the wild if you had if your genetics were subpar you just get ripped apart by a predator or something similar only the best would survive that that's not really applying anymore and so you could see people more more people with down syndrome autism etc because you know i don't want to keep blabbering on about that but you know it's in a nutshell the future moving away from nature has been it's, it's going to cause like some sort of disaster in the future in the not so distant future even right now you can see it happening already unless we kind of like prepare try and better ourselves we try and like kind of do things in advance to kind of make sure we don't like we don't like fall fall down. we do something to prepare ourselves for this massive cataclysm that's going to come in the future guys it's coming um, I 100% I agree to the fact that it's going to be there's going to be some sort of great cataclysm in the future moving away from nature it's going to cause all these like problems for our society and our human beings are we're going to become less healthy and capable and all that type of stuff everything is just going to become so much worse it's, it's inevitable guys there's gonna be some sort of cataclysm similar to like the fall of the roman empire something similar to that is gonna happen in the future guys and we really you can't do much about you can't there's nothing that you can do to prepare for it it's just inevitable that society is gonna fall apart we're probably just gonna return to the stone age maybe especially if they like because we have like nukes now and a lot of different countries want to show how big their dicks are and they're gonna like probably nuclear war is probably gonna it's some, probably it's not I don't, I don't, I don't think that's very certain, but I think it probably is going to be happening. Nuclear war, some type of cataclysms on the way, guys. Moving away from nature, it has been like kind of like a disaster to some extent, but still, I think it's like we're the only animal species that's managed to like do this to move away from nature and to move towards something else, something that we make our for our, for ourselves. Like civilization is like a human invention. We're such an abnormal animal species. There's no other creature that has ever did this, like that's moved away from nature and marched towards something else. It's only as human beings that we've managed managed to fucking to do to do this to like fucking go against Mother Nature and to do something for ourselves and stuff. It's such a it's so like interesting that we're the only animal species the only animal species creature that's managed to do this to turn against Mother Nature and to follow our own our own destiny. And I I, I just I hope that it's kind of like a tragedy, guys. It really is a tragedy that I, I do hope that there's some like there's gonna be like some sort of solutions to all of these problems that I've made in this video. 
all the problems I've outlined in this video, guys. I hope there's gonna be some type of solution, man. I hope there's gonna be like some type of solution that's gonna get outlined. That's gonna like someone's gonna come up with like some sort of solution in the future for these types of issues that I brought up in this video. The video is nearly about to end. Just really carefully meditate and contemplate on everything I've said on this video. Right, moving away from nature. We're moving away from nature and we're marching towards civilization. And as a consequence, our Earth is dying and we're becoming less healthy. That's about it, guys. I think that's really about it.